Hello, it is I, the Games Reaper, and here I am today to review the SNES Classic Mini. Okay then, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just show you the box. There we are. The Super Nintendo Classic Mini. Now, this is by far and away the best console of its type. It's even better than the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Mini as well. You can see all the games on the back of the box. Secret of Mana, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, Super Castlevania, Super Mario Kart, Final Fantasy 3 in America and Final Fantasy 6 over here throughout Europe, Star Fox. Lots and lots of games and they are all top quality. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I used to love that as a kid. Kirby Superstar. Yeah, that's enough of the box. Okay, right, before I go any further, I just want to show you the two controllers now. Try to guess which one is the original Super Nintendo controller and which one belongs to the SNES Classic Mini. Okay, I'll give you a few moments. In fact, I'll even turn both of them over. In case that might help. Oh, come on, stay still. Right, okay. Still haven't guessed? Alright, well, I'm here to tell you. That they both feel as well made as each other. And this one is the original Super Nintendo controller. And this one belongs to the SNES Classic Mini. And that brings me on nicely to the sheer size difference between the original Super Nintendo and the SNES Classic Mini. Now, you've got to bear something in mind. This cartridge slot here is just for show, of course. It's got HDMI and it uses a USB cable to power it, which is directly connected to my television. Okay. Now... It's got a nice little flap to cover the controller ports, which is a nice touch to keep it nice and dust free. Of course, the original SNES does not have that at all. Right, so... Oh, by the way, if you want a laugh, check out what I'm using. <laughs> Will I ever stop using this poor, poor Sonic the Hedgehog? I'm sure that he hates me by now, but yeah, I'm using him to just about do everything to do with this Kindle Fire 7. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Anyway, I think I've spoken enough about the Super Nintendo Classic Mini in terms of how it looks and the aesthetics. It's certainly well made. It feels just as well made as the original SNES, maybe even a little bit tighter. In fact, whilst I'm here, that could do with a bit of a clean. I think I better get some rubbing alcohol or perhaps a small hoover, clean it out of it. Anyway. Sorry, sorry, I need to get out of the habit of my finger getting in the way now. You're going to have to bear with me for just a few moments. I'm trying to remember how much the SNES Classic Mini cost me to buy. It's just slipped my mind, I don't know why, it just has. Anyway, it's not much. It's worth every single penny. I think it was around £70, £80. Pounds. My word. Oh, I can't believe what I'm doing here. <laughs> I need to buy some extra equipment. I know I'm only using a Kindle, but even so. Right, okay. So hopefully it will stay there. And what I'm going to do is sit on the carpet and show you a few games running. And I will show you the options screen and everything else. Okay. Right, so... Right. Now, what you'll absolutely love about this Super Nintendo Classic Mini is the sheer amount of options it has. You see, it has a CRT filter, 4x3, Pixel Perfect, which is what I have it on, and you can even change the frames or here. Isn't that wonderful? I like the wood effect myself, but you might choose something else. Everyone's different. Alright, so, and then you've got options, my game play demo, classic demo, 
screen burn in reduction i don't understand what all of that means but i've shown it you that's enough language yes there's a nice selection of different languages here legal notices hmm very important and very very interesting i shall spend all night reading that i'm absolutely enthralled by that absolutely right manuals ah now this is handier view the original game manuals and other information on your smart device well i don't own a smartphone so that does not apply to me okay and um before i go any further just so you know you can save your progress at any point whilst playing these games let me just go to final fantasy 6 Ah, here we are. Wait a sec. Alright then. Press the reset button, it takes you straight back. And as you can see, I've got different save points. They are actually called suspend points. And you can save your progress at any point in the game and go back to it at any time. It's really, really handy once you get the hang of it. Anyway, what I'm going to do now is show you some gameplay footage. Now, everything about this SNES Classic Mini absolutely exudes quality. Everything from the music playing in the background. Let me just turn it up so you can hear. You see? Everything's quality. You know, e even the music in the uh, menu screens. Very, very good. Okay, I think I'll show you a bit of Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong, it's absolutely legendary this game is. It's a bit hard, but uh, because you can save your progress in all of these Super Nintendo games on the SNES Classic Mini, it makes some of these games a lot more accessible compared to the way they used to be years ago. Which is really, really good. one player yeah this is one of those classic mini consoles which I really cannot fault it's certainly nothing like the PlayStation 1 classic mini and even though you can hack the PlayStation 1 classic mini I think that Sony should have done a proper job in the first place to tell you the truth rather than people needing to hack the system to add games to it oh, it's been a while since I played this <laughs> Yeah, here we are. This is, without a shadow of a doubt, the best classic mini console, or should I say mini console, on the market right now. And, uh, and it's the only console of its type that I own, so don't expect me to do any other reviews just yet of any other consoles like this. Right, anyway, I think that's enough of that. Ah, now Super Mario RPG, that's a great role-playing game. I haven't gotten around to playing it just yet, but it is good. Let's try a bit of Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, because why not? Here we are. I used to play this game a lot when I was a child, whilst I was still going to junior school. I've the turbo on max. Here we are. Yeah, this makes a whole lot more sense than buying an original Super Nintendo. I hate to say it, but it does. Of course, if you're a purist and you have to own the original console, then by all means do so, but... Not only does this thing have some top quality games already preloaded onto it, uh, you can also get them modded like you can with any of these classic mini consoles to add even more games, which is great. 
I will pick... Who should I pick? Ryu. Or Ryu. I used to call him Ryu the Pooh. And Ken the Hen. His brother Ken. I used to call Ken the Hen. And Ryu the Pooh. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to be hopeless. Wait, it's the first fight, so I'll probably win. Oh, it's up to jump. These old school controls. There we are. I think I'm more likely to do some impressive moves if I just randomly press buttons. I've died. I want to show you as many games as I can. Ah, Secret of Mana, that's a great role-playing game. Earthbound, I completed that one several years ago. Earthbound is a great RPG, definitely check it out. How could I do a review of the SNES Classic Mini and not play Super Mario World? Here goes. Again, this is another game that I completed several years back, but I used a handheld console to do it on. I did not use the SNES. Did I make some progress on this? I'm, I can't quite remember. Anyway. Wow, do you know when you go back to these games after a while when I mean, you haven't played them? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Let me try one more time. One more time, and then I promise you I'll try something else. You know what, I'm just going to avoid those turtles. I don't know why, but the controls feel a little bit stiff. It's nothing to do with the quality of the SNES Classic Mini console, or of the actual controller itself. And by the way, the SNES Classic Mini comes with two controllers, so that's very, very good value for the money. Yeah, the controls are absolutely beyond reproach. They're great. Yeah, I'm not playing this properly. Right, so. Right, so. Tell you what. Let me just make sure I've shown you all the games. Now, what I find rather interesting about this console is that it has a copy of Star Fox 2. Now, in case you don't realise this, that game never came out, and yeah. So I'm going to show you a little bit of it right now. Clear stage 1 in Star Fox or not. <laughs> okay. okay, that put me in my place. Ah, there's that bastard hard super ghouls and ghosts. I should imagine... Games like that will be made an awful lot easier because of the save anywhere and suspend feature that this little console has. So don't forget about that. That's great. Okay, so... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll end this video by going on Mario Kart, the original Mario Kart. Here we are. I will play as... You know what, I'm just going to play as Mario. <laughs> He's a good all-rounder. Okay. Mushroom Cup Race. Come on, let me take you all to school.
Yeah, I find the controls in Super Mario Kart on the Super Nintendo to be really, really tight and fluid, especially for a game of this age. It's quite good. Now, it's only because I'm an experienced gamer that I'm in first place. A regular Joe off the street, if they haven't played this game for a long time, you would see it. Because they would be veering off the track like crazy. Just like what I did just then. <laughs> Got to be careful. There we are. Ah... And what a great way to end the video. So yes, I highly recommend the Super Nintendo Classic Mini. It's a great mini console. So yeah, let me just have a few moments to think. Have I forgotten to mention anything? No, I don't believe I have. Thankfully, I bought mine, you know, before there was a shortage. I believe there was a shortage of these things, at least in some parts of the world, including the UK, where I live. Right, so. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Yes, I am groping for the stop button and I can't.